Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we're going to be relocating this thermostat. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. Today we're going to be relocating a thermostat for a fan coil unit. This right here is a BMS controller, building management system. So this controller is set up with software so you can control it through the computer. And we're locating the thermostat and it's not a regular thermostat. There's a AC 24 volt supply and there's a low voltage DC supply which can range. And right now I need to figure out which wires is the thermostat and, it's, and right now I'm thinking actually it's this right here our ground and 24 volts two wires and then our net negative and positive it's four wires actually for this and i think it's this one so i'm gonna call my partner he's actually gonna tug on the wire on the other side so we can figure out which one it is and we're gonna yank that out and relocate it in this room that we're in see no. it no keep going all right. Let me see something. Sure. I'm gonna pull on it now. Tell me if you see the wire moving, okay? Because right. I think it's this one. Hold up. Right. right here. Yep, that's it. That's it? Yep, it's moving. All right, perfect. So we know which one it is. All right, man. All right, let's start by removing that thermostat. Well, first turn off the power remove that thermostat and let's bring this wire into this room we're in a completely different room now it's like everything is separated from this machine oh this cover is like that all right i'm gonna turn it off from here since that cover is open like that i'm gonna have some just change it like this. All right, the power's now off. All right, here's the thermostat. Let's confirm that there's no power before I cut those wires so we don't short out that transformer. Volts. AC, this is, this is our AC voltage, zero, good. And we switch it over to DC. Positive, negative, just to be sure. Yeah, there's nothing here. All right. So we can cut this wire and remove the thermostat. Take that. Just make sure that's actually it. All right. That's it. Wire's gone. Let's take this with us. I'm gonna relocate it in the other room. All right, All right so this is where we are. We wanna run it into the other room. And through here. Units in that ceiling. And what I'm thinking is to run the wire, well, pull the wire out, cause we're actually right there and then run it through here and hopefully mount the thermostat on this wall right here. I think that would be good. They want it in this room. They wanted it here, but this is actually a beam. So I can't do anything and I don't have access up top so I could snake my wire through or anything. So I think this is the next best option as everything else is really covered. And that's close to the window. I think right here will be the best spot. Let's just see if we could actually get the wire down in there. All right, so this was it, I believe, so. Yeah. Luckily they didn't tie wrap anything. There's gotta be the wire. Yes, this is it. All right, great. But what I gotta do is run it there. So I could just literally just throw this there right now and I'll be able to catch it 
through the other side. This is it, that's good. We already got the wire, it's already long. So I actually made a little hole in here. And it looks like the beam stops right here. So we, might, we should be able to get it right straight down. That would be really ideal. So I gotta make a hole in here. Then we can run a snake up and pull the wire through. And we might be in for an easy day. deep very deep all right that's why it's taking so long let's get this out and hopefully if we get through there it's gonna be an opening So we ended up hitting this metal, but there's enough space for me to squeeze it through the side there. And there's a beam. There's a beam right here and there's a metal piece right here. We have literally half an inch of space, but that's all I need. Run the snake through here and hopefully can make my way up. Let's see if it's possible. I could even see anything. Might need to make a bigger hole in here. All right, try to shove it up. All right, start pulling it back out slowly. All right, stop, stop. All right, got it. Awesome. So the idea is we're gonna tie this wire. Make sure it's not bundled up. We're gonna tie this wire like this, run it with some tape, and from there we're gonna pull it out, and from there we'll have the wire. Yeah. Start pulling down on that wire, on the fish tape slowly. Go try to keep going, keep going. I'm just gonna feed it to you. Just don't pull too hard. If you feel resistance, don't do it. We're gonna lose the wire. So keep going. Keep going. You might need to wiggle it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, keep going. Right there. Grab grab it with the wire. That's it. Pull it, pull it. There you go. Good to go. Now you can take the tape off, the wire, and roll up the fish tape. Okay. To remember which wires goes where, always take a picture. So, red, black, white, green. Let's disconnect that and put in our new wires. Get rid of that. This one. And boop, gone. Go run our new wires through. And then let's just put our wires together. Simply. 
just going to tighten these up just like it was before same setup push the wire through and tighten it down once we got all the wires in i'm gonna drill this thing into the wood the positive was white and the negative was green all right just gonna find a nice place to mount this straight and here's the cover push it in from the top Should get this oh got it to close great now I can turn the power on Takes a little while for this thing to just get back up, but power's back on. All right, that looks awesome. So right now it's 66 in here. It's set to heat, you can see the flame, and it's set to 75. Fan started. We need to make sure we're blowing out heat. And the thing is, that's the supply ducts right here for this room, but they capped it off. There's no air going through there. We got to open that up somehow so we can actually heat this room so we could actually reach the right temperature. They had everything bypassed, like the hot water, and the fan constantly ran. So when I first came here, it was like 90 degrees plus. So that's why they capped this off. They couldn't bear to be in here. It's too hot because the units are right here. This is the first, this is the first supply, so it's going to get super hot. But anyways, I think maybe if we take this off, we'll be able to... Like that looks like they put cardboard in there. Oh yeah. Ooh, a bunch of dust just hit me in the eye. I get this out of here. Perfect. Let's put this back. Oh yeah, we got heat, perfect. So the hot water actuator opened. That was the last job I did here. And that's a beautiful thing. Let's take a little pride in our work and wipe this out, let's clean it up. All right, that looks a lot better. From here, we're just gonna close up this cover, that cover, and that cover, and all the other covers. And we're gonna wrap it up from here, but everything is looking good. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, Please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time.